Have you ever wondered what the weather is like on other planets? Our universe is a vast expanse filled with countless celestial bodies, each with their unique characteristics and phenomena. And interestingly, weather, a concept so familiar to us Earthlings, is not exclusive to our home planet. Take Mars and Titan, for example. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, often referred to as the Red Planet, and Titan, the largest moon of Saturn, are two celestial bodies with weather patterns that are fascinatingly different from what we experience here on Earth. On Mars, imagine a world where dust storms are a regular part of life. These aren't your average dust storms, mind you, but those that are so large and wide-ranging they could engulf the entire planet, obscuring much of its surface from our view. These storms, known as haboobs when they occur on Earth, occur every few years on Mars, with a particularly large one recorded in 2018, but that's not all. Mars also experiences dust devils, miniature tornadoes that form and move across the surface. This phenomenon isn't exclusive to the red planet as they're also observed on Earth. We can see these dust devils due to the dirt they kick up off the ground. They're so visible, they can even be seen from space. Then we have Titan, Saturn's largest moon, which is one of the most enigmatic bodies in the solar system. Titan hosts liquid on its surface and has a truly bizarre climate. Here, methane occasionally falls as rain, after it evaporates from the surface and forms thick clouds. This methane rain on the freezing cold moon falls very slowly due to the low gravity and thick haze, so you'd feel every drop. So there you have it. Weather on other planets is as intriguing, if not more, as it is on Earth. Let's delve into the intriguing weather phenomena of Mars dust storms and Titan's methane rain. Mars, our neighboring red planet, is known for its fascinating dust storms. These aren't your typical gusts of wind carrying a little bit of dirt. No, these are colossal, planet-engulfing storms that can obscure much of the Martian surface from our view, making it a challenge for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike to keep an eye on the Martian landscape. The Martian dust storms are quite the spectacle and they're fairly regular occurrences happening every few years. They're born from a process that starts with the sun heating up the Martian atmosphere. This heating stirs up the thin air on Mars, causing the dust on the ground to lift off and create a storm. One of the most remarkable dust storms occurred in 2018. This wasn't just any storm, but a storm so large that it enveloped the entirety of Mars. It was a sight to behold, a testament to the power of nature, even on a planet millions of miles away from our own. But you may ask, how do these dust storms grow so large, so powerful? Well, that's a question that has scientists scratching their heads. NASA, with all its technological prowess and scientific expertise, is still uncertain about the exact mechanisms that allow these storms to grow to such gigantic proportions. But what they are certain of is that these storms pose problems for solar-powered rovers on the surface of Mars. These rovers, our mechanical eyes and ears on the Martian surface, rely heavily on the sun's light to power their systems and carry out their exploration missions. But when a dust storm hits, it blots out the sun, leaving the rovers in the dark, quite literally. The dust from the storms can also settle on the rovers, covering their solar panels and further reducing their ability to generate power. This can lead to periods of inactivity, putting a pause on the exploration and discovery. These storms are a testament to the harsh and unpredictable nature of the Martian environment. But it's not just these enormous dust storms that make Martian weather interesting. There's something else. Dust devils. Yes, you heard that right. Dust devils. These are miniature tornadoes that form and move across the Martian surface, kicking up dust and making themselves visible, not just to rovers and landers on Mars, but also to orbiters high above the planet. They're so visible, in fact, that they can be seen from space. But we'll delve into the intriguing world of Martian dust devils in the next scene. For now, Let's just marvel at the power and beauty of the Martian dust storms, a phenomenon that continues to captivate us, reminding us of the stark differences and surprising similarities between the weather on Earth and the weather on other planets in our solar system. Apart from dust storms, Mars also experiences dust devils, miniature tornadoes moving across the surface. These are not your everyday tornadoes, they're Martian style, and they certainly know how to put on a show. Now let's take a closer look at how these dust devils come to life. It all begins when the Martian surface starts to heat up. The sun's rays beat down on the red soil, causing the air nearest to the surface to warm up and rise. This is akin to what happens on a hot summer day here on Earth when you see the shimmering waves of heat rising from the asphalt. 
As this heated air ascends, it may come into contact with cooler pockets of air higher up. When this happens, a dance begins between the warm and cold air. They start to twist and turn around each other, creating a rotating column of air. This is the birth of a dust devil. But what makes these dust devils so visible, you ask? It's all about the dirt. As these Martian twisters whirl across the surface, they kick up the red Martian soil into the air. The result is a spectacular visual display of swirling red dust that can be seen from miles away. And when I say miles away, I mean it can even be viewed from space. Yes, you heard that right. Our space probes have captured images of these Martian dust devils from their orbits around the planet. In fact, in 2012, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spotted a colossal Martian dust devil standing an astounding 2,600 feet tall and 98 feet wide. That's about as tall as two Empire State buildings stacked on top of each other and as wide as a football field. So, while these dust devils may be miniature tornadoes, they sure don't lack in spectacle. They are an integral part of the Martian weather system, shaping and influencing the landscape in their own unique way. However, as fascinating as they are, these dust devils do pose challenges for our Martian exploration efforts. Solar-powered rovers, such as the ones we've sent to Mars, rely on sunlight for power. These dust devils, along with the larger dust storms, can block sunlight and hamper the rover's operations. But we continue to learn, adapt, and find innovative ways to navigate these challenges, advancing our understanding of Mars one dust devil at a time. Now that we've explored the dusty weather of Mars, let's venture into the cold realm of Titan. Prepare yourself for a journey to Saturn's largest moon, where the rain isn't made of water, but methane. But that's a story for another scene. Stay tuned, space enthusiasts, as we continue our voyage through the fascinating weather systems of our solar system. Saturn's largest moon Titan is a world of interest, especially due to its methane rain. Let's delve into this unusual weather phenomenon that sets Titan apart from many other celestial bodies. Titan's weather is a peculiarity in our solar system. Unlike Earth's water-based hydrological cycle, Titan's climate revolves around methane. This moon's surface is so cold at nearly 290 degrees below zero, that methane, a gas on Earth, exists as a liquid on Titan. Here, methane does what water does on Earth. It evaporates, forms clouds, and occasionally it falls as rain. But this isn't your typical rain shower. Imagine a rain so slow that each drop is an event in itself. That's Titan's methane rain for you. Due to the moon's low gravity and the thick haze enveloping its atmosphere, methane rain on Titan falls very slowly. It's an almost poetic spectacle. Each drop takes its time, leisurely making its way from the cloud towards the surface. And if you were to stand on Titan's surface, you'd feel every single drop. Each one would be a gentle touch, a reminder of the strange cold world around you. But the methane rain does more than just create a mesmerizing sight. It plays a crucial role in sculpting Titan's landscape. The slow, steady drizzle of methane erodes the moon's surface much like how water rain shapes the Earth's terrain. Over time, this process has led to the formation of intricate networks of valleys and riverbeds. It's a testament to the power of nature, even in its slowest and coldest form. The rain doesn't just stop at shaping the terrain. It also feeds into Titan's vast lakes. And when we say vast, we mean it. One such body of liquid methane and ethane is Kraken Mare, a lake more than a thousand feet deep, larger than the Caspian Sea on Earth. These lakes are not just intriguing geological features, but also potential habitats for life forms that thrive in extreme cold conditions. And it's not just the lakes. Titan's methane rain also contributes to the formation of other interesting features, like the moon's dunes. These aren't the sandy dunes you might be picturing. Instead, they're composed of tiny particles of solid hydrocarbons and ice, shaped by Titan's gentle winds and the slow-falling methane rain. This methane rain, and the cycle it's part of, makes Titan a fascinating world to study. It's a glimpse into what weather might look like on a world vastly different from our own, yet eerily similar in some ways. It raises questions about the nature of weather, the possibility of life, and the diversity of conditions in our solar system. In fact, Titan's methane rain is so unique, it's one of the reasons why NASA plans to send the Dragonfly drone there in 2026. The mission aims to explore the moon's surface and atmosphere and study its methane cycle in detail. Who knows what secrets this methane rain holds, waiting to be discovered? So when we talk about Titan, we're not just talking about a moon. 
We're talking about a world with its own weather, its own landscapes, and its own mysteries. A world where the rain is slow enough for you to feel every drop, yet powerful enough to shape an entire landscape. This methane rain, falling slowly enough for you to feel every drop, makes Titan's weather as fascinating as it is unique. From the dust storms of Mars to the methane rain of Titan, weather in our solar system is a captivating topic. Our journey through the wild weather phenomena of our solar system has taken us through the dusty red plains of Mars and the mysterious landscapes of Titan. Each of these celestial bodies has shown us that the term weather takes on a whole new meaning beyond the confines of our earthly understanding. On Mars, we've seen how the sun's heat stirs up the thin Martian atmosphere, lifting dust off the surface to create storms of such magnitude they can shroud the entire planet. These storms, known as haboobs, are a testament to the power of nature, even in the seemingly lifeless expanses of the red planet. Moreover, the Martian surface also plays host to dust devils, miniature tornadoes that rise up in columns of rotating air visible from space, a spectacle that is both eerie and awe-inspiring. Meanwhile, on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, we've learned about a weather cycle that is truly alien to us. Here, methane, a gas we associate with industry and agriculture on Earth, falls as rain. It evaporates from the surface, forms clouds, and then returns to the ground in a slow, gentle shower due to the moon's low gravity and thick haze. This methane cycle, akin to our hydrological cycle, shapes the landscape and fills Titan's lakes, creating a world where liquid methane and ethane play the role that water does on our planet. The stark differences in weather phenomena between Earth and these celestial bodies highlight the diverse environments that exist within our own solar system. Whether it's haboobs on Mars or methane rain on Titan, each planet and moon has its own unique climatic quirks that make it stand out in the cosmic crowd. Next time you complain about the weather, remember at least it's not raining methane or blowing dust storms like on Mars and Titan.